Alright, we're back. So I got this thing apart again. And I just found out a lot of the problems right now. Okay. So this was a re-chrome part. It's probably, probably a genuine one with a big 11 16ths in it, but maybe not, but probably is. So when they chrome this thing, they had a bunch of chrome in the bore, so they, they went in there with a bulb brusher and started pulling the piss out of it until they got all the chrome out. Problem is, which I didn't check before and I should have, because we're leaking fluid out the back of this thing. That's this over in here is leaking. Let's check to see what size bore it is now. See, this thing just slides right in there. See, I just dropped in there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it just it drops in. Sure, see, it just drops in. There's no drag on that thing. So, well, now it's stuck in there. But there it goes. So, when the back of the, when this O-ring here is just slipping in the hole with no drag on it, you can't get it where you can see. There's no drag. There's no way to lever seal. That means this one here is not doing anything either, to speak of. Yeah, it has minimal, if any, drag on it. And the fluid just goes back and forth and I do a damn thing. Can't bleed it, can't do anything. I should have checked that before, but you know, me being a dumbass, I'm trying to fix something that's already screwed up past repair. So this bore is so hogged out right now, it'll never work. Now, if you put new O-rings and new seals in here, it might, maybe it might start to work a little bit, but I doubt it. So this cylinder probably hasn't worked from day one. And that's why it was bone dry. Didn't have anything in it. All right, so I don't think I have any of these cylinders, but I'm going to go check and see. But it needs a new master cylinder. Can't save something that's been destroyed. No matter how much I try, I can't fix complete garbage all the time. So in this case, this one's trash. All right, I'm gonna go see what I can find.